Hey everyone, Dan here from StockTrades.ca. Today I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to sign up with a discount brokerage and get started trading stocks pretty much right away. I mean, there's not much else to it. The only thing you really need is some money and a brokerage account. For the purpose of this video, we're going to be using Quest Trade. That's what we're going to set our account up on. I've been a client of Quest Trades for about 10 years now. I have all my accounts through them, my tax-free savings, my RRSPs. I have a Lira through them. I mean, they are really, I would say, the best investment platform in the country. So to get started, we're just going to come up here to our browser bar. We're going to enter questtrade.com. The page is going to load, and you have a bunch of options up here. You can check here for their commission costs. <clears throat> they have some of their portfolios that they manage here but if you're looking for a self-directed account you're just gonna go here and open up an account now they have a bunch of options here you'll see when the page loads you can open a margin account this allows you to trade on margin you can essentially borrow money from quest trade we don't really suggest this unless you're more of an advanced trader uh, you can open an individual account like a tax-free savings account or RRSP. These are registered accounts, so you'll need to provide a little more information than say a margin account. But for the purposes of this video, we're gonna open up a tax-free savings. So after we click this button, it's gonna give us a little summary here of the accounts we wanna open on the right-hand side. We can click more than one, we can remove them. And after you're done picking the accounts you wanna set up, you can add an offer code here, and we are affiliated with Questrade, so we do have an offer code that's going to give you $50 in free commission. So we go ahead and enter our code here, apply it, and it's going to give us $50 in a trade commission rebate. Uh, you've read and agreed to the conditions of this offer. I think I'm not fully sure of the conditions, but I'm pretty sure if you don't make $50 worth of trades in a month, they don't give you the rebate. So we're going to open the account. It's going to take us to the next step page where we're going to create a user ID. <clears throat> so you enter your first name here. Actually, I'll make it. You enter your email, which that worked out perfectly. And you enter your phone number. Once we carry on past this page, you're going to create a user ID and a password. Now they're pretty stingy here on the password you can select. So if I make my username stock trades and I try to make my password stock trades one, two, three, it's going to tell you it's too similar to the user ID. Uh, Questrade has some pretty advanced security measures and they definitely go far and above to protect your account. So let's just make this Joe Smith123 and our password is going to be. So we confirm that password. Continue on. Here we're going to set up some security questions. This is another level of security, so if you were to ever lose your password, uh, Questrade will ask you these questions and you will be required to answer them if you want to get back into your account. So we'll go, what is our favorite color? Orange, of course, for stock trades. Question two, favorite movie? Let's go. Wolf of Wall Street. Carry on. Now from here, we've essentially got our account in place. We just need to answer some personal questions here. So if we continue on the personal, it's going to ask you all these questions, your date of birth, your marital status, your address. You're going to have to answer these before they let you fund your account. It's just so that, especially with a registered account, they're going to want to see if you're actually the person you are trying to open this account. Um, employment, this is another thing with a registered account you'll be required to put. <clears throat> Financial, you'll have to declare all your assets. I mean, this stuff doesn't need to be pinpoint accurate, but 
I would highly suggest you finish it up and your citizenship. So if you're opening a tax-free savings account, obviously you need to be a Canadian citizen. So you're going to have to answer these questions, including providing your social insurance number. If you're a tax resident somewhere other than Canada and the US, now, I'm not actually going to complete these, obviously, because the person doesn't exist, but I can show you ways of funding the account to get you started. So if you go to this funding area, you're going to see a bunch of options you can choose. Uh, you can transfer from other investment accounts. You can transfer from some other Quest Trade account to this account. Um, but for this, the purposes of this video, we're going to use the online banking feature. So if you head into here, it's essentially going to let you select your financial institution. So for example, let's go Scotiabank. You're going to click fund and it's going to take you to sign in to your online banking. So you're going to enter your information there and it's going to guide you through how to add Questrade essentially as a bill payee on your online banking so that whenever you want to send money to it, you can set it up recurring bill payments so that it deposits a certain amount into your account every week. Or if you just want to make one lump sum payment, that's fine too. You just add it as a payee and then you send the money. Uh, typically, the first first deposit takes longer than recurring payments just because they have to verify information. And you may be required to send your driver's license in beforehand. But if they don't ask you to do that, you're definitely going to need it when you withdraw money. So whenever you make your first withdrawal, they're going to verify that you are who you are, either through a driver's license, a passport, or some other form of identification. So the next stage is here. We're actually going to go in and see their desktop uh, browser program. So if you go to accounts, for the purpose of this video, because we don't have the account funded, I'm just going to start a practice account. So I can show you how to do this too. If you head over here and go other platforms, it's going to give you the option down here to activate a 90 day trial for a free account, just kind of play money. So I've already hit that button. So after you do that, you can just log in here. So it's telling you here that it's a practice account and here you can see the dashboard. So this is the exact same platform you're going to see if you were investing with real money. I mean, you can change what shows up here. You can modify a lot of things. But ultimately, when you first bring it up, you're going to get an order entry form here, the current positions you have here, your buying power. And over here, you're going to get stuff like your watch list. You can create a custom watch list. So you can see they have most of the major indexes already on here. But if we wanted to add an individual stock like, say, Apple, it's fairly easy to just add it. So you click here and up at this plus button, it's going to add it to your watch list. So if we actually wanted to make a purchase of Apple after we've watched it for however long, we go over here. It'll say that we've recently quoted the stock, so it kind of shows that if you've quoted it, you may be interested in buying it. So we click the symbol, it'll give you the last listed price, the quantity you want, so if we want to buy 100 shares, and the order type. Now at the bottom of this article, you're going to see a lot more on order types. I'm not going to explain them all in this video, but for the purposes of this, I'm going to do a limit order. And so my limit price is going to be what I want to pay for the stock. So if it's 175.42, let's say the maximum I want to pay is 175.50. So after we've got that set up, it's going to give us the duration. <clears throat> and in here you can select things like day. So for day, it would be if this order doesn't get filled by the end of the day, it's just it's simply no good anymore. We'll have more details on these two in this piece. And down here, you'll see the account. Obviously, we only have two accounts here, a margin practice account and the actual account we tried to open. So after that, we just we want to purchase them in our margin. So we're just going to hit buy. It's going to give you an order confirmation. It's going to tell you how much you're buying. We're buying $17,000 worth. Our commission is going to be $4.95. It's going to change our buying power by this amount. 
It's a little bit different because it's a margin account. So it's going to say we have, even though we only have 500,000 in the account, it's going to say we have 1.4 million in buying power just because we have that margin account. So we're allowed to purchase more stocks than we have money in our account. So let's send the order. So now if we go to see our actual orders, we can go here to account. We can go to orders and we can see that it's accepted, but it's not filled. And that's because during the time we were typing the order, Apple actually exceeded our limit price. So we currently can't get it for 175.50. So this is the power of limit orders, especially with stocks that aren't traded as much. So you can get in trouble with a market order on a stock that doesn't have a lot of volume and say the ask price shoots up and you put a market order in, you may actually end up paying way more than the list price of the stock. So for this browser based platform, I'm not going to go over it too much because it's really, I mean, if you're using it to just kind of set up a buy and hold account, it's fine. But if you actually want to get some really in-depth rich features, you want to download Questrade's IQ Edge platform, which we'll be going over next. So we're back to the screen here. And if you don't remember how to get to it, you simply go to this drop down menu here, click other platforms. And if you've activated your 90 day trial, it's going to give you the option to download the Edge platform. So if you click download, it's going to give you a setup. Now I've already set the platform up just to speed this video up a little bit. So we've gone through the practice installation process. We set it up. We've opened up the platform and here you're going to see quest trade IQ edge. Now, if you don't, if you decide not to do the practice, you're just going to get the regular IQ edge. So here we're going to enter our username, our password, uh, remember user ID, I wouldn't suggest this unless you're on a home computer and even at home, I don't select this. I like to leave this information blank. I mean, we're dealing with our investment accounts here, so you kind of want to protect, even though it doesn't fill your password in, I don't even like to give my username away. So we're going to click log in. It's going to load up the platform. It's going to say that we're logged into a demo environment and this is all simulated. Obviously, with a practice account, that is going to be the case. And then we're going to get this option here. <clears throat> now, here is where you want to create your workspace. Now, depending on the level of trader you are, you might want a more advanced workspace, you might want a basic, or you might want to build it yourself. If you don't know the platform that much, I strongly suggest just going with a standard. So it's going to give you a walkthrough here. You can go through it on your own time here and it'll explain to you what everything means. So here is our platform. <clears throat> now with the basic, it just gives you, it gives you kind of the same stuff that the desktop one, the browser profile did, except it all displays on one screen instead of having to, uh, go to different options on tabs on the left hand side like we've seen before. So there's a lot to take in with this platform. I mean, it looks pretty complex when you first open it up, but it's it's really not that hard. I mean, if you're planning to be a trader, you've got a little more options here. I mean, you're charting here, you can enter a stock here, it'll give you the chart. You can get the five minute chart, you can get the 10 year chart, whichever you like. For a buy and hold investor, it's fairly simple. I don't use very many options in here. Simply, I have a watch list of the stocks I own, the stocks I'd like to own. I can have a buy order here ready to set up if I wanted to buy anything or sell anything. Uh, you can check up here for your account balances. Obviously, we have a practice account, so we have half a million dollars in there. Uh, you can click here to get account information the amount of money you have cash, the amount you have in equities. You can actually see here that our Apple order we placed on the browser-based platform got filled. So the stock must have dropped below our limit price to the point where we were able to get it. So other than that, this is the uh, Questrade IQ Edge platform. I would suggest anyone on a desktop download this. It's just got so many more features and it's 
so much easier to operate than their browser-based platform. But I mean, if you're on the go, they have a nice mobile platform too. Or if you're not at your home computer and you don't feel like installing this program on another one, you can use the browser-based one. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. That's about all it takes to get set up for a brokerage account. And within three, four days, typically opening the account, you'll have the money in there and you'll be all ready to go. You can buy and sell as you please. And if you're looking to move from say an investment firm that's managing your money, depending on how much you're going to move, Questrade will actually pay the transfer out fees. And on top of that, uh, we do have our promotion code, like I mentioned, that'll get you $50 in free commission. So if you're looking to open an account and only want to buy 10 stocks, I mean, you can pretty much get set up for free with us. I'll uh, drop the promotion into the bottom of the video here. And uh, you'll notice it below the video too, if you just want to copy and paste it. So that's about it for this video. This will get you set up with a brokerage. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the article where we really go in depth on not just buying stocks, but buying good stocks and how to properly execute it in terms of order types, how prices fluctuate, how the stock market actually works. I mean, if you're new to investing, we really don't just want to throw you a video on how to open a brokerage and throw you to the wolves. I mean, you're going to learn a lot in this article, and we really hope you enjoy it. Till next time.